Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you have not been here before. Um, I always feel so weird starting off these videos so I feel like I'm being very cringe right now but we're just going to get over it. Um, hello, how are we doing? I wanted to do this wee video today, I don't know if anybody's seen on TikTok. Um, the trend, fuck me, could not think of the word. The trend where people are like, like getting ready and telling a few facts about themselves. Um, so I thought I'd do that, but do it as a YouTube video. I feel like this is going to be so awkward. <laughs> I, like I hate talking about myself, I actually hate it. Like, get away. Why am I going red? Oh my god, quit. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to start off, I suppose, with like kind of the basic stuff that people talk about. Oh my god, Leslie, shut up. This probably isn't right either. I'm just going to do this off okay. I would wet it, but I'm not really arsed. So I'm just going to spray it. With a bit of thermal spring water. Don't even know what I have here. Don't even know, I'm not gonna lie. Um oh fuck I just spray that everywhere. <laughs> I literally just spray that everywhere. Do you see how wet that is? Oh my fucking god. So yeah, let's start off with number one, I suppose. Just the basics. I feel like a lot of people that watch these videos will know this about me because <laughs> they know me. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna start off with the wee basics. Um, my name is Leslie, if you didn't gather that. Um, I'm 22. Oh. Do you know what, actually, I don't mind being 22. I feel like when I get to 23, that's when it's a bit like... 23 is not a weird age, but it's like... It's weird to say 23, do you know what I mean? And I feel like it doesn't look as nice. If that makes sense. I find like I have a thing about things like <sighs> I don't really know what it is but I feel like 22 like it's nice you know 2-2, two, two, 23 is a bit. Um, my birthday is March the 2nd 2000. I was born in 2000. Um, I've always loved my birthday month. I don't know what it is. I just love being a March baby and I feel like my birthday date as well. I love it as well. I don't know what it is about that. Um, I've just always liked it. I've always liked my birthday. I just love being a March baby. I'm also Pisces. I uh, don't really know much about astrology, but I'm a Pisces. I've always liked being a Pisces as well. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I've just liked the fact that I'm a Pisces, even though I know nothing. Don't ask me anything about astrology because I actually haven't a clue. But um, yeah, I'm a wee Pisces. Um, I suppose another fun fact is my mom's birthday is actually the 1st of March. So she's the 1st and the 2nd. Uh, so on her 30th birthday, she was in hospital waiting to give birth to me. So you're welcome, Molly. <laughs> yeah, as she said, it was a lovely belated birthday gift. Aw, how cute. <laughs> um, what else can I tell you? I suppose I'll go on a bit more with the fam. Um, I have two younger brothers um, called Adam and Matthew. You've probably seen Matthew did that on some of my videos. Adam, not so much, which is, you know, he's not a big fan of being in on the camera and that's fair enough even though I do probably <laughs> try and get him when he's not looking but um yeah Adam's 20 and Matthew is 17 Adam will be 21 at the end of this year uh so there's 21 months between myself and Adam and there's five five years between myself and Matthew um so yeah uh what else can I tell you I have three dogs and two cats um, you probably have seen them on my channel if you watch any of my other videos. That's the most amount we've ever had. That is so blight. That is the most amount of like animals we've ever had. We've always had two dogs and a cat, I feel. Well, not when we were younger, but like but since being in this house it's always been we've always really had a dog and a cat. Um and then yeah, we kinda went a bit mad <laughs> these past few years and ended up with three dogs and two cats. So it's a bit of a zoo in our house. But, you know, I actually love it. I really do. And I feel like the dynamic kind of work. You know, we have a system and it works well. This is very light. Okay. I have quite a big family on my dad's side. I have, like, well, I have, he has seven siblings. So I have three uncles and four aunties on my dad's side. And I have two uncles on my mom's side. And my dad's side, there's about 20-something cousins. Quite a lot. There's only four on my mom's side, but from our side there's only four, whereas if it was them, 
if it's the other two families they would say they have five cousins because we're the only household with three and they only have two and two if you get what I'm saying if that makes sense um so yeah quite a big family on my dad's side um what else can I tell you oh my god I'm really not prepared um and it's not family oriented I don't think so I'm trying to think um right let's move on to a few fun facts about me and me alone uh, what can I tell you I really don't like talking about myself I don't know what it is um oh god lads please don't judge me because I actually have no clue what I'm fucking doing I have three tattoos I suppose that's a bit of a fact about me um this one here is my first tattoo I got it when I was 17 and it's matched with my mum uh, I always said I, I wanted to get a matching tattoo with her so we got it uh, then I got two, these both, both of these tattoos at the same time if you can see that that says Karja I have it matching with two of my besties um, and if you don't know it means friends in Irish but we wanted something that was like a bit you know like friends but we didn't really want to get friends so we decided on Karja and then I also have this tattoo which I just got by myself um that's the only tattoo that i don't actually have matching with anyone i have a severe fear of blood needles basically anything surgical um i've never actually fainted at the sight of blood but i've always felt really really dizzy whenever if if anyone even speaks of blood i get really really dizzy um which obviously you know isn't ideal you don't really want to be feeling that way but yeah it's definitely something that i freaking hate that i have because it's really not a nice feeling um and i have like questions maybe because mommy said like okay trust the process please trust the process um mommy said that like even maybe getting hypnotized could help but i don't really know to be honest i haven't really looked into it but i definitely do think it's something that i need to sort out because it does affect me um obviously not in my daily life but it's not really ideal when you can't even stand the sight. Like if someone, to be fair, I feel like fight or flight, like if someone was really in pain or like really needed my help and there was blood everywhere, even talking about it right now, I feel like I'm going to pass out. Blood everywhere, um, I could help them because I remember one time my brother did bust his head open and I had to hold the tea towel to his head while my mum rushed to doctor and called to try and get stitches. But, and I was, like I didn't pass out in that situation. But also in saying that, I was a lot younger then and it definitely has gotten worse the older I've gotten. So I don't know if I was in that situation now, if I would be any help. But yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit of a shit you will, not going to lie. Um, and also the same with needles, like getting my blood drawn. Don't talk to me. I had to go and get my blood drawn like probably last year, this time last year actually, yeah. And I had to ask for like the freeze stuff because um it helped a bit it definitely didn't help as much as i hoped it would because i nearly fainted but um yeah i just can't do it i literally cannot do it and uh, what else can i tell you is oh my god i'm really not prepared for this whatsoever um Oh yeah, here's another one. This isn't really the nicest one, but I sweat a lot. <laughs> like, quite bad. Um, I definitely have self-diagnosed myself, but I'm... This is one thing that I'm certain I have, and I don't know if anybody knows of it, but it's hyperhidrosis, which is basically just excessive sweating. 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 Um, yeah, I have a really bad sweat problem. I always have, to be fair. Like, I've never not been really sweaty. Um... And it's not even like, this might be TMI, but do I really care? No, it's not really like smelly sweat. It's just like sweat, sweat. Like I just sweat, like it's just water, um, especially with my hands. Uh, my hands get really bad and I can never really like today. I'm obviously, I'm not warm, but these type of tops, no go for majority of the time because, oh my goodness. Um, the sweat patches are just a joke. Um, yeah I've always kind of had it it's definitely probably something that I do get a bit insecure about because you obviously don't want to just be like sweating all the time um, 
And I remember when I did dancing, I, and we had any partner work, I used to always feel so bad I had to put it. Like, I'm so sorry, like, my hands are so sweaty, but there was nothing I could do about it. Like, I just had to kind of deal with it. And I also hate it when I'm working and giving people back their change because, you know, when your hands are really sweaty, you have to give them back change, and you're like, I'm, I'm so sorry you have to, like, be a part of this, and I have to give you back sweaty change. <laughs> but, yeah, um... I sweat a lot and it also isn't great for me because I'm someone that gets it's not even embarrassed quite easy but I think I honestly do think I need to get my hormones checked because it's definitely not right the way my body regulates temperature but um I get like severely warm from within like I don't even know how to explain it I call them heat attacks because my mom's always she's always had heat attacks and I definitely get it from her because she goes as red as I do but um yeah i get like really warm sometimes to the point of like my whole body like my face is pure red like it just comes from within it's not even like a rash i don't even know how to explain it but it's not even like okay your face has gone a bit red like if you come near my face and put your hand next to it you can feel the heat off it like it's that warm um so yeah i never really know what that's about and it's obviously not great especially when you're in a situation where oh you might get embarrassed because sometimes it's not even me being embarrassed sometimes it just comes on me and then i could just be talking to someone and my face just goes pure red like there's no reason for it it just happens um and i've had to like try to find ways to cope with it like i find that breathing like trying to slow my breath down because i think it's also an anxious thing but trying to slow my breath down like calms me down a bit because the more when i feel it happening and i feel it getting really red um that stresses me out more and then i go even redder so i've tried to like regroup myself a bit and kind of be like right lazy like there's no need to be you know try and calm myself da, 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 go through the whole process in my head do the breathing and then sometimes i have sometimes it makes it worse because then i'm focused on it too much and then it like gets worse but um yeah i get really really warm um, and I also get extremely cold like I feel like I'm never really in between like right now to be fair I am in shorts and like a short top but right now I'm quite cold um, so yeah I definitely do think I need to like figure that out and see what that's about but then there's also the state of if I want to get my homeless checked I probably need to get my bloods done and we're back to the first do you know what I mean like it's a bit <laughs> it's not really ideal in this situation Uh Oh yeah, I am 100% an animal person. Like, I honestly think I prefer animals. No, I don't honestly think I know. I prefer animals to humans. Um, just in so many ways. Like, I don't really like humans a lot of the time, not gonna lie. Uh, and it's nothing against certain people. It's just the human race in general. <laughs> but at the same time, be kind to all kinds, which I do agree with. Uh, but yeah, I am such an animal person. More, I think I'm actually more an animal person because i feel so comfortable around them like i just love animals like i'm the type of person that if i go to a party or if i go to someone's house and there's an animal there i'll most likely be spending more time with the animal than i will be with the people um but yeah i'm just i definitely am quite an anxious person and i feel like animals kind of just make me feel a lot more like peaceful safe just all the above do you know what i mean um yeah i suppose that's another thing about me i am very I'm quite, I'd say I'm shy. I've definitely gotten so much better, lads. You don't even realise. Like, I used to be so bad. Like, just... I don't even think it was social... Definitely was social anxiety. But, like, I... At the same time, I've never been diagnosed. So, I don't really like self-diagnosing. Because I feel like it's quite easily to do. It's quite easily to do. It's quite easy to do that. Um, With things that people... Like, if you see something on the internet, you're like, oh, well, I have that. Well, then that must mean I have this. Do you know what I mean? Like... It's definitely quite easy to do and I'm definitely um, someone that I put my hands up to that that I, I'm definitely hypochondriac so I do like try to like I try to find things that justify how I'm feeling if that makes sense um, because otherwise I just feel like I'm going mad or you know what I mean like I like to be like okay this gives me a bit of reassurance if that makes sense um, so yeah I used to be so awkward I still am I am extremely awkward um but I don't know I feel like I have kind of met Michelle a bit I'm definitely still very reserved 
but um if you knew me a few years ago like even with my family members the most i would say would be like hello and then i just i couldn't hold a conversation like i couldn't really go any further than that and if i saw people sometimes that i knew in public i would like actively like try to like get them to not see me because i was like i don't want to have to talk to them if that makes sense i don't know if that's a bit rude i feel like it is but i don't know it was just i was just didn't want to have to speak to them and it wasn't even like oh i can't be arsed with this it was just like fear of having to like speak to people in public i don't even know so yeah i don't know um i have come out michelle a lot more which is nice it is because i love getting to speak to people and i love getting to meet new people and i definitely think that i should be putting myself out there a bit more a lot of the time and it's something that i really want to work on this year is just like i don't know meeting new people because people that I've met in my life so far have really made an impact and I'm so grateful to have known them so I would love to get more people you know meet more people like that and like I don't know just get to know more people it's always a nice thing I eat so much peanut butter it's actually a bit of a joke I go through so much peanut butter like I just love it I love it on a bagel I love it in a smoothie bowl I love it mmm it is delightful I freaking love peanut butter and um, yeah I eat a lot of peanut butter um oh i'm vegetarian i actually never said that i'm vegetarian um i have been for about two years now i want to say um i was vegan for about a year that was in like first year uh but i personally just felt like i don't know i don't know if i thought it was too restrictive or just i can't really remember why i stopped to be honest i just feel like i started like i love cheese and I kind of liked cheese. And then it was also like, I think it was more the sweet stuff that I missed, like not being able to eat certain stuff. It wasn't even like, you know, the healthier stuff in some sense. Um, but yeah, I definitely missed just some things. And I was like, right. But I knew I just never was going to go back to meat. Um, I kind of like decided that, because um, I never really was a big meat eater when I did eat meat. I only ate like chicken i do miss fish i definitely do miss fish but like meat wise i just can never see myself going back to meat and i definitely become a lot better in terms of like what i eat because i used to be a bit more picky especially when it came to like vegetables but i've definitely i feel like because i'm eating them all the time now i do enjoy eating them and it's actually something that i look forward to even whereas before it was like you have to eat it because you have to eat it kind of thing if that makes sense um so yeah i definitely do love being veggie. I don't see myself ever going back. And it's nice as well. Sorry, I'm grabbing something here. Um, I'm going to get this out because I feel like I'm just talking over myself. Yeah, it's nice as well because my mom's vegetarian as well. So, and she has been since she's been 12, which I think is something. It's quite impressive. It is quite impressive um, that she has been like that because 12. And like, I feel like vegetarianism, vegetarianism and veganism has only really like, it's obviously always been a thing but now it's become a lot more popular but back in the day it really wasn't that big of a thing. Um, so she was a bit of a trendsetter. <laughs> My mother, a bit of a trendsetter. She was before her time. Um, but yeah, you know, she, she has been a vegetarian for quite some time so that's quite impressive I think. Anyways, yeah I have said before I'm an overthinker. I definitely overthink situations so much like it's a bit concerning um i don't know i just always like second guess myself all the time i don't think i'm definitely not confident whatsoever when it comes to just me myself and i um and i think i'm my biggest self-critic but like to the point where i'm like leslie why are you always putting yourself down and I, I don't want to say I always put myself down but I definitely think that I could definitely be nicer to myself because the way I feel sometimes the way I think about like myself and just not even the way I look but the way I am I'm like you would never think of, you'd never look at someone else and think that so why do you think about yourself but we are we're, we're self-critics you know what I'm saying everybody says that but yeah I don't know I just I do I second guess a lot of the things I do I do think I'm I always think I'm quite annoying <laughs> in a lot of situations like obviously I put these videos out and you know it's great but I like watch myself and I'm like 
why would anybody want to watch me like i do like second guess why anybody would be interested in like watching my videos and even with like friends sometimes i'm a bit like like why do you want to be friends with me and that sounds like really sad and it is it actually is but i don't know i just i feel like it's something i need to work on i definitely need to work on it so watch this space because self-love is a big thing and we all need it we do because at the end of the day if you don't love yourself you know end scene <laughs> no but i'm being serious honestly what else lads what else um okay come on think of positives Eddie. this is actually very this is a bit morbid um Okay, I'm gonna say my favourite feature about myself, that's quite nice. My favourite feature about myself is probably my eyes um, and my eyelashes. I have very long eyelashes, which everyone has always said to me, like growing up, it's probably one of the main things I've ever heard is I have really long eyelashes or I have really nice writing. There are two things that I feel like I've been told constantly growing up, um, which is obviously really nice to hear. Yeah, I suppose it is a nice thing to hear. Um, so yeah, uh, lads, honestly, I haven't a clue what I'm doing here. Eyebrows, for me. I'm gonna finish off these eyebrows and come back to you because I don't want to have this video be fucking years. Okay, I'm gonna leave my eyebrows like that. I feel like they look absolutely atrocious, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look. We're just gonna stick with it. Um, did I put a highlight on? I did. Oh my god. Um, let me think of some other fun facts about me that are like positive. Um, my favorite thing to kind of do is to just have like fun times with friends like we don't really have to be doing much i just feel like the times where you're kind of just chilling and like laughing all the time like belly laughing or it's just like the best best times ever like i don't feel like there needs to be a lot happening do you know what i mean just having good company and kind of yeah just that's really the best times that i've had really um i don't think i'm a materialist person materialistic person i'm definitely very nostalgic and very sentimental with a lot of things and for me like things that i really enjoy are like looking back on videos like this or looking back on photos like it just warms my heart like i love those type of things and i feel like memories just top anything else if that makes sense there's something i don't drive i'm hoping to get my license by the end of this year um that is the main goal anyways but yeah i haven't really i don't know how to drive probably one of like my favorite shows to watch or that i have watched it has been new girl i haven't watched it in a while but not many shows make me laugh and that show honestly cracks me up like cracks me up so yeah it's definitely one of my favorites Um, the best concert i've ever been to is coldplay it honestly has nothing has ever topped it since it was such a good concert if you ever get a chance to go to Coldplay concert even if you don't really like Coldplay go to a Coldplay concert like they put on such a good show and I've definitely heard that from a lot of other people that it's been one of the best concerts they've been to so don't just take it from me take it from other people as well some of the hobbies that I love to do I love to dance Um, I've been trying to get into skateboarding I definitely need to get back into it but I just if i'm being honest i'm very lazy and haven't really thought to get back into it and also i need to get some protective gear because the last time i went on it i fucking came down and uh yeah it was a bit not really ideal i thought i was bleeding and then stressed out and then realized it was just a craze and then calmed myself down and then was like glad you kind of overreacted but yeah next time i do decide to skip what i would like a bit of <laughs> padding when i fall one more let me think one more to end off on a good note. Um, I suppose I really like value people that are in my life um, when it comes to like friendships, family, whatever it might be. Um, I don't know, just these past few years, I've definitely like understood how important it is to have good people in your life. Um, and 
I don't think I'll ever take that for granted. I'm trying my best. These like, I don't know. I'm just trying my best to have more of a positive outlook on things. Um, even when I'm feeling down, and even when I feel like you know, this life couldn't get any worse. I think you have to be grateful of where you're at, at the moment and grateful for a lot of things that kind of happen to shape the person that you are and the person that you're becoming. So yeah. It's a bit philosophical, but um, I'll end on that note. <laughs> um, this is the makeup. I honestly don't know what it looks like. It doesn't look too shabby. My eyebrows are a bit questionable. I might actually get them done. My graduation is next week, which is exciting. This time, actually, next week, we will be in Liverpool because we're going over on the Monday. Um, there will be a vlog of that, so look forward to that. But yeah, I think I might need to get a bit of tint in my eyebrows but we'll soon see i'll see how it goes um but yeah that's it for now thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was somewhat entertaining i feel like i don't know you might want to listen to me just babble on blabble babble blabble babble babble on babble 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 on fab oh yeah okay never mind oh my god um <laughs> But yeah, if you enjoyed um, and enjoyed getting to know me a bit more, then there you go. That's me. Um, there definitely are a lot more things I could have said, but on the spot, I could not think of many. So I apologise if these were a bit boring. But uh, yeah, um, I'm going to say goodbye um, and I will see you next time for another video. Bye! Riley! No! I think I need <laughs> No, I know I do. I actually do. Um, yeah? Videoing? Why? Goodbye. <laughs>